Hi, I'm Tom Berkland, author of An Introduction to the Policy Process and Professor of Public Policy at North Carolina State University. I hope you enjoy the book and I hope you find these videos useful. Welcome back. In this short video, I want to talk about the role of think tanks and research groups in the policy process. Now, think tanks and research groups have become more important in the policy process, and, and their role is, is important. They're not as well known as interest groups and, and political parties and whatnot, but they're important for a lot of reasons. Think tanks are research organizations that provide information on public policy to uh, decision makers. And there's two kinds. There's private and sometimes ideologically oriented groups, such as think tanks like the American Enterprise Institute or the Heritage Foundation on the right or the Urban Institute more on the left. But they're not always ideological. Groups like the, the Pew Center, Research Center, other groups like that are not necessarily ideological. But sometimes they are. Sometimes they have an obvious ideological bent. And then there are often research-oriented groups in universities. My university has something called the Institute for Emerging Issues, for example. Your university may have um, some sort of a research arm that helps provide information to, uh, to local government. So those are two broad kinds of sort of think tanks or research groups. And their goals are to provide research and policy information to promote the public interest. I mean, that's how they usually frame their work. And, but their goal is to provide the kind of research and information for policymakers that they may not have access to, particularly in state government where the resources for doing uh, legislative research uh, may be constrained. Uh, locally oriented research groups or think tanks can uh, provide useful information to uh, members of the legislature. At the federal level, the Congress has access to information from the Congressional Research Service, for example, but uh, think tanks also provide information that may be useful to uh, members of, of Congress or to uh, other legislative officials. Their goal is to influence public policy, sometimes in a way consistent with their ideological perspective. If they have an ideological perspective, they'll provide research that can influence public policy. And just because it has an ideological perspective doesn't mean it's a necessarily a bad idea. For example, I remember reading a report from a conservative group on disaster relief that suggested that we needed to change disaster relief policy because our current policies may be encouraging some people to, to live in risky areas, areas that are very prone to flooding or to coastal storms. And they had some interesting data and they made an interesting case for their, uh, their position. I think these sorts of things are important to the policy processes, inputs to decision making. And I encourage you to look at the work that think tanks do. But I also encourage you to be careful that, that some interest groups are not what they seem, that they may have a neutral name, but their ideological position may not be as clear as it should be. And so you want to be sure that you understand what the ideological position is of the group that you're uh, citing if you're using the products of a, uh, a think tank or research group. For example, a student of mine once several years ago cited a report from something called the National Center for Policy Analysis and didn't understand that this group tended to have an ideological position that tended to be conservative and libertarian. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just important to know the ideological commitment of the group that you're studying. So th that's a little bit about think tanks and research groups. Uh, they're an important part of the policy process, but they're not a well-known part of the policy process. I encourage you to look into some of these groups. A lot of these groups provide remarkably useful information about public policy that policymakers and citizens can use to better understand issues and what should be done about them. They're really vital to the policy process. Many of you may want to work for one of these groups in the future. So knowing more about what they do and the possibilities uh, will be helpful to you both in understanding public policy and perhaps in your career as well. Thanks for watching this video. As always, I really enjoy hearing from students and teachers about the book and about public policy. Feel free to reach out to me at tom at tomberkland.com or visit my website, tomberkland.com. Thanks again for watching.